a patient presents to the office with a fibroma on the lower left lip. Removing a fibroma is a nice service that you can provide for your patients in a simple, pain-free appointment. In the past, you might have referred your patient to a specialist to remove this lesion, but now you will have the confidence to add this to your treatment options. To remove this fibroma, I'm using the gingivectomy preset and a 400 micron tip. The factory program wattage is 1 watt of average power. I have found that I rarely need to exceed 1.2 watts of average power when using a diode laser. And if anything, it is usually preferable to use the least amount of power necessary to complete the procedure you are doing. To anesthetize the patient, I am using a stronger topical anesthetic that is applied to the tissue for one minute. You need to initiate the tip before removing the lesion and have your assistant keep some tension in the tissue you are removing with the help of a hemostat. I start at the base of the lesion, keeping the tip perpendicular to the tissue I am removing. Use a sweeping motion, moving the tip left to right and right to left, watching the tissue separate. Try to keep the tip parallel to the top surface of the lip. After removing the fibroma, switch to the hemostasis preset. Although there is no bleeding at this point, going over the excision site with laser energy using an uninitiated tip will help with healing and reduce any post-op inflammation. Just position the tip about one to two millimeters from the tissue and trace the outline of the excision and then fill in the excision site as if you were coloring in a drawing with a crayon. There is no need to place sutures and the post-op intraoral pictures taken one week postoperatively shows the tissue healing beautifully. It is very difficult to see any signs of the fibroma that irritated this patient just one week prior.